Hi, it's James Deersley here, the founder of the Digital Marketing Bureau, and I'm just here to tell you today a little bit about the new Facebook graph search, and also just a little tip so that you can play with it. Um, here we've got the old standard um, Facebook uh, newsfeed, and uh, in the next coming months, all of this will disappear. This will get changed a little bit as a new timeline will be replaced. They're rolling it out currently from the States onwards. But I want to talk to you about this little box here. Facebook notoriously have been... Um, finding it a little bit difficult to search well. So if you just quickly go into the account settings, if you're based in the UK, go to this English language bit here where it says English UK. If you just change that to the US and take a little look up here with the Facebook logo and down here, you'll see it changes. Just by changing the English US site, um, it makes a huge difference to the way that you can use the site. Now, very quickly, from a personal perspective, it's great because you can see photos of your friends very easily and it's displayed in a completely different manner. And then you can, for example, add in here before, I don't know, 1998, for example. And you can see photos of your friends taken back in those days. So some obviously some shockers in there. So there are some really good ways of using the site now, um, navigating around. You can see restaurants nearby. You can see what they're like, if anyone's been there. So um, here, my mate Becky has actually likes the Running House Cafe, which is great. Um, so it's good from that perspective, but also it's very good from a business side. So you can sort of have a look. So pages liked by my friends, for example. So you can find out pages liked by your friends. So it's great. You've got all this sort of information here, which is good. Um, you can, if you wanted to, take it next stage further, and you can see people who like, I don't know, in my world, um, let's say, social media explorer, which is a which is a good site there. It's um, very good for us um, social media guys. Um, I should have done actually examine it because I actually think that's a, um, a slightly better site. There we are, I missed that one. So 168,000. So what you've got here, you've actually got the ability to see all 168,000 people who like social media examiner and it gives you their personal details. Now, the reason this is good for you is the fact that it gives you this ability to refine the search down as well. So if you wanted to, you can look for male and female. If you wanted to, you can look for the employers um, or uh, sort of who they're working for. So it gives you a real good ability to sort of segment the social media examiner, um, people who are liking it, down to um, sort of you know key people. So you can decide if you want to join them or not. You've then got this ability here for see more. Um, and what this opens up even more um, sort of um, options for you. So, for example, you could say, I want to find all the founders of companies who like Social Media Examiner. So that uh, refines it more. You don't really know the exact numbers because it only gives you these sort of options more than a thousand, less than a thousand, but it gives you again more reasons to basically go in here and say, hey, look, you're a founder of a certain. Uh, of a certain company, I want to link up with you. So it's a good way of networking. It's a little bit on the sort of LinkedIn side here, so it's quite fun. Um, but anyway, it's just a very clever way that Facebook is starting to exploit it. You've also got more options down here. So you've got the options to extend the search if you wanted to, um, to sort of more pages that these guys like, um, photos of the people, these people's friends. So you're really, it's a bit Big Brother-esque, but you're able to see um, even more sort of information about these particular people get to know them get inside their skin so this might help you with your advertising campaigns so you can use pages that they're liking or keywords that they're sort of consistently mentioning to advertise to them so that's all the sort of the business side um, what I also quite like on this is you've got this little surprise offering here which is called discover something new just by clicking that um, this comes back to the personal side. You can start to see um, it sort of throws up some surprises. So places I have visited, the movies liked by people with interests similar to mine. So you, you can start to sort of um, get some real uh, insight into the power of graph search and find people um, that you might have ordinarily never done. So and things you'd never would never found out. So look, this might help. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, there's a lot of fun. Please do change your language settings if you're in the UK, and have a little play around before this timeline thing all uh, changes in the next couple of months as well. So I hope this helps. Thanks.